fixed it and uh, repainted that top, top top cover. When all the covers are on, it is a little bit a little bit quieter. Um, part of the reason this uh, pump has a little bit of noise to it is because um, just with our loop here, we have to have it almost 95% shut off, or else the pump will uh, the pump will over amp. And that type of valve there. Um, this is just a ball valve that get, um, is kind of noisy. I'd actually suggest for your um, for your chiller loop is to use globe valves. That's a globe valve there for the bypass. They're better at controlling pressure and flow. Over on our little uh, table here, um, here's one example of a globe valve. It's kind of a little bit bulbous there. And it, 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 when you actually turn on the handle here, there's a disc that goes up and down, and there's uh, some chambers inside this, as opposed to just a gate or a ball valve. And if you Google globe valves or, or ask us, we'll send you some information on them. They're much better and quieter for controlling um, controlling uh, pressure and uh, NGPM. And there is a new one out that we're going to start selling or leading customers to. Uh, globe valve is an actual, uh, sorry about that, actual Schedule 80 also. This one's made in uh, Japan, kind of slick. Uh, here's just an example of a Y strainer. It's nice to put a Y strainer on the inlet uh, inlet to your uh, chiller. So that's about it for now. Um, we're going to uh, post this video for our, our customer. He's located in beautiful upstate New York, I believe. Um, drain it, disconnect it, put all the covers on. Uh, palletize it and pad it very nicely for freight in the next day or two. This is Scott from KIG. Our website is KIGsales.com. We do fillers for all sorts of things, a lot of breweries. You see some tanks we have in inventory now, but a lot of uh, a lot of industrial applications too. Thank you. Happy holidays.